All right, folks, this is Doug again, back uh, doing another unboxing for you. Today, we're gonna be doing one from Rock Hobby. Um, I think you're gonna like this, I know I am. Um, ah, damn it, didn't wanna cut. But uh, I've been waiting for this for a while. You get them on Amazon, you can get them next day delivery. So you don't have to wait so long in between. I know as impatient as I am, I had a hard time waiting for that. Now, as you know, I'm pretty big on my RCs, and I like them to be as scale as I possibly can. And this one has so many details on it. You can kind of zoom right in here on this. I did. Now, anything that has so much in it, well, how about we just do this? I don't know. This is always the hard part with these boxes. Is getting that part off. You know what? We've got a better way. I want to be cutting it anyways. Put it right. Now, this is the one, one of the reasons I got it. This case you can carry with you literally everywhere. But, take a peek at this. Look, there's the windshield wipers over here on the side on the railings. These railings back here come up where you can actually have a soft top on it. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to make a custom one. And uh, you have a windshield that folds up. <laughs> and for a lot of you guys out there that do already have one of these, you have to push in on the center of the windshield. Otherwise, it'll just sit there and rock back and forth as you're driving along. Make sure you lock it in place and it won't go nowhere. And uh, nice cloth seats. It's got a makeshift toolbox back here, but I'm pretty sure, yeah. You can't open the toolbox. The toolbox is actually where all of the, uh, the suspension linkage and everything comes up underneath there. But there is one really cool thing about this. And everybody likes this part. I know I do. Look look at the twist on that already. That thing's gonna be a good truck. Watch this. Lifts up. There is a rod somewhere here. Sorry, I don't know where Rodrigo Andres Gonzalez has been the <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Where are you? There's a rod in here that actually holds up the body. And if it's not in here, then uh, I'll be making one. Yep, looks like I'm gonna be making one. Here's the controller. Yep, so I gotta make a rod for the body because I'm not gonna sit there and try to hold the sucker up. Now, because of the fact that I thought of everything for this truck, except for the AA batteries, we're not going to be able to actually do a run video, but it's got some weight to it. Definitely got some weight to it. And it's got a nice scale under the hood. 
I would probably consider, depending on the ride, putting portal axles on this. You can get, uh, you can get um, probably a good red cat from the way the linkage and everything looks and how it's all set up if you don't want to go too expensive with it. Um, it looks like if you get the Red Cat Everest 10 axles, uh, that would also be a good way to take and put uh, all wheel steer on it if you ever choose to do that later on down the road. Um, what I am going to be doing today with this, however, is put this here for a sec. It's got a, like a magnetic thing in there or something. I love this. <laughs> Now, what I am doing in this video, I'm going to be adding some new tires. Give it my own little bit of a look to it. I think it's going to turn out real well. So first, as you know, this is family friendly, but also smoker friendly too. This is a 420 friendly video, so please beware. <laughs> um, give me a minute. Now, <coughs> just got that stuff from the dispensary. Whew. Strongest they've had yet. Now, one thing I am going to be doing is I know you can't see it, <coughs> but on each one of these center caps, there's five screws. You got to remove those five screws. No, Daisy, no, sit. Good girl. Showing off Daisy a little bit. <laughs> She's a good girl. <laughs> Give me just a minute. Let's try to just undo some of these. Uh... Some pretty long screws, but I'm getting an idea. It's kind of hatching in the back of my mind while I'm undoing these. If you take these black screws, I take this, take one of these screws out. Yeah, Buster uh, letting off some smart bombs over there. Ooh. It's all right. My smoke will do that to you, I guess. Oh, hello. Where did it go? Hmm. I'll have to get that one later. <laughs> so if I put this in here instead of that one, see if it goes in far enough. So far we're good. And we tighten it up a little bit there. Looks like you have a, a lug nut. I think you're going the wrong way. So I'm going to take real quick and I'm going to put them all in there. They don't hold anything. They're just there for looks anyways or to hold the center cap. These center caps look very close to it, but the bolt pattern on the center cap is okay. Usually these have a magnet on them. The, my tip used to have a magnet on it. I bet you guys are wondering when am I going to figure out that I left the body clips in the box. <laughs> it's amazing. So I'll, I'll do like a side-by-side -side comparison. 
you guys can see the difference and judge if you want to do this for yourself this is a very cheap upgrade that you can do <laughs> yep. I'm going to leave that one alone. Sorry. I'll be this? asking about that later. Never mind. I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, I'm doing it for Doug. <laughs> They're all off. <laughs> Okay, I'll be over here in a few. All right, Eddie, bye. <laughs> I'm used to doing this for somebody else, okay? Oh. This one's being a pain in my ass. Doesn't want to come out of there. Oh my my God. little freak. Come on, please. It came out. I lost all the screws. Oh my goodness, I did not lose all the screws. I've lost all my marbles, but I haven't lost the screws. Sorry people, I'm not real good at recording. We're all getting used to something. Getting used to those daggone masks out there. The four you seasons. Gotta get used to all this crap, because guess what? It ain't going away. Sure it is. Unfortunately, that's why a lot of us have started going by the way of this. It's something to take up the time. It's something to, if anybody's looking at this and thinking about buying it, and you're just getting into the hobby, I will tell you this is hobby grade, but it is very well hobby grade. I got this on Amazon for $309 and so far I am not in the least bit upset. I mean they even have a, the little lever back here that you would have back on the original ones for the gas cap. I mean they literally thought of everything. They got, what is this, a uh, shovel and an axe over here on this side. And um, I will take and record upgrade videos for this. Um, I do plan on, I do plan on making several upgrades. Um, if anybody out there knows where I can find an 11 inch action figure or you know the real lifelike um, dolls um, I would be muchly appreciated because well this kind of vehicle it don't go good without a driver to it all the rest of the vehicles you kind of can because the cabs are 90% covered or the windows are blacked out, um, which isn't a problem. I'm just saying my preference and, you know, personally. And uh, I really want to try to, I know I'm kind of holding back and making you want to see the other side of this truck, but you're going to have to wait with me because... I am taking and changing the rims on this side and then I'm going to take and flip it around once you see the other side. Sort of have a comparison and in the comparison what I plan on doing is the, one of the tires I'll have black lug nuts on it the other one I won't. 
And by doing that, it's going to take and make it to where it just gives it more real effects to the rims themselves. Like you actually put aftermarket rims and you still have the original lug nuts on the car. So I, I really think that that's going to give it a nice good look to it. Um, I got the uh, 1.9 uh, 1 rims and the tires are the ones that came with it. I would love to tell you the name brand of them because they're nice. Um, I can take an attempt, if I can figure out how to do it, I can attempt to put the link to them in the video um, in case you like the rims and you think that they would make a good addition to your vehicle. Um, post some pictures of your truck on this. I'd love to see them. So, done with that one for right now. I'm going to take these and set them off to the side so I don't lose them. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to take uh, this one out right here. Definitely have some grab. I love the tires. I do have to say they are a nice set of tires. Um, they're soft. They're pliable. But me personally, I've always liked my rigs with a fatter tire on them. You get a lot more. You get a lot more ground per millimeter of them, um, width-wise, not just the height-wise. So, all right, we're gonna take this one here off. Put this one here on. Oh yeah, I think I'm going to like that a lot better. These are literally going to be perfect. They are exactly what I was looking for. Look at that, I forgot I even undid the tire. So, as I was saying, I'd love to see some of you guys' uh, rigs out there. Show me some of the upgrades and the mods and stuff like that uh, that you've done because where did that go? There you are. <coughs> Anytime you get your center of your wheel stuck in there like that, there's a very tiny ridge. You can put your screwdriver in there. Just watch your, your hand on the other side. Don't push too hard. All you got to do is just push it out from this side instead of trying to use pliers from this side. This, of course, we need that. So I'm going to take these and there with that. I'm not going to bore you guys with the details of whenever I do the other side because I'm going to be doing a lot more than just these. So, you guys can get a, an idea take a look you got one with the regular lug nuts for the original truck so it appears that you just replace the rims not the, not the lug nuts and everything um, and the center axle being shown here, that is not uncommon at all when these things actually came out. If these hubcaps that are on here ever come off or ever came off out in the field, they wouldn't put them back on. They would take and just pitch them. That's why if you go trying to find them, I bet you they'd be hard to find even for the real trucks. Um, I mean, I do like the tires a lot. Oh, that that came on it, but if you take 
and you look at the front tires here, you got, uh, why is it doing that? Come on, baby. Okay. You're gonna wanna get a metal steering um, uh, servo arm. This one, whenever you go too far with it, it kicks over. And that can put pressure on your servo whenever it's coming back the other direction. That's something I'm going to have to fix. But look at the, the difference in the front tires. Look how much more ground space you got covered. And they're still nice and tucked in, just like the original tires. I mean, you've got any time that you're taking and you're wanting to just sit it out and let it show, pop it open, take this out. I mean, they got everything with it. The headlights do work. This light over here on the side for airplane marker light, that still works. Um, the one thing I think that they could have added with this truck, it would have been a very simple addition, which I'm actually going to, to do. Um, I'm going to put a rod sticking straight up back here. And on top of that rod is going to have a red spinning light. That is the one thing just about every one of these for like the MPs and running around army bases and stuff like that. That's one I'm probably going to have to make custom. But, um, yeah, I think uh, I'm going to do some artwork on the motor, get it uh, actually looking like a motor, not just a bunch of plastic shoved together. Um, you might color up the battery, the radiator, stuff like that. I mean, you look underneath it and, ooh, there's one thing that was supposed that they did different. This has, looks like a T60. It doesn't have the Dean's connector. So I'm going to have to clip this and re-solder a Dean's connector in order for me to actually run it. They would have done a lot better, I think, if they were to put a Dean's connector, uh, T-Dean's in here. But it's an easy fix. Very, very easy fix. Um, these side posts over here, this is for your uh, roof arms to go into if you ever want to do that. Um, the, these back here in the back, there are two reasons why they're there. And this is actually for the real trucks too. Um, they're there for tie downs, for, um, for your tarp, for your canopy, whenever you put it on there. Um, there are straps that go down there that tighten it. Um, then you've got um, these up here. These are mainly handles. There's n this, it's just decorative. Uh, there's no straps. Now, if you make your own custom canopy, you could make it to where there's a rod going up here. I mean, this is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be planning on putting different rods and then making the canopy that goes across and the little side that comes down right here. Um, Push, uh, just push the button, it doesn't pause. We'll be back in a little while, guys. We're very fine.